it's time to start with leaching which is pretty similar to a liquid liquid extraction we're going to cover why it's not exactly the same so leaching is the process of extracting a substance or substances from a solid phase by dissolving them in a liquid, typically a solvent. From this diagram, we have the inlet or the feed, which is a solid, and we have the MSA, which is the material separating agent, which is going to be our solvent in liquid phase. So let's say that they are solid here, the liquid interacts, and it's going to be dissolving uh, specifically certain type of materials. Most or some of the solid particles will remain as solid, and some of the chemicals or species of interest will be dissolving from the solid phase into the liquid phase. Eventually what you extract is the solvent plus all the solutes. Leaching is the process of a solid becoming detached or extracted from its carrier, typically the solid, substance by a way of a solvent. Leaching is used extensively in the metallurgy industry, so I typically don't like to relate that much into leaching that occurs in metallurgy because it's not the one or you're going to focus more this way like a metallurgy engineer rather than a chemical engineer or process engineer anyways in this specific case you are still trying to kind of use physical chemical processes what happens is that you add a solvent and that solvent will react with the ore and those chemicals will convert to valuable metals, which will be in the solution. Then you just remove the solution, and you get the depleted ore, and then get your uh, soluble salts, separate them by, uh, el by electric charge, electrodes, and eventually what you want to do is to obtain your pure metal in solid phase, for instance, copper, silver, and so on. As stated before, it is technically an extraction and it depends a lot on the context if you're talking about liquid liquid extraction you will typically hear only a liquid extraction concept but if you're talking about solid liquid extraction you may be hearing extraction or leaching it is a process that selectively removes a compound of interest from the mixture using a solvent so pretty straightforward it's pretty similar to the last uh, lecture the major difference between solid, liquid, and liquid-liquid systems is, well, of course, that one involves two phases, therefore it is an heterogeneous system. Also, that solid and liquid are the main issues right here, and the way we operate stages is much more convenient when we're talking about liquid-liquid extraction. When we talk about solid-liquid extraction, it is uh, very efficient work or typically you will not see a lot of stages compared to the liquid liquid extraction for an extraction or solid extraction to be successful the compound must be more soluble in the solvent than in the solid additionally the solvent and mixture must be immiscible well that's pretty straightforward if the solid you're wanting to extract dissolves completely with the solvent which is this one right here then you will not be able to separate anything. This will be no mass transfer whatsoever. This is just a material dissolving in another. And I like to put this an ex as an example, either coffee or tea. The main idea is that we have a liquid, we have a solid, and we have a final product. In this specific case, we need a further separation process, which is filtration. And as you can see here, guys, what we are going to do is increase the temperature of the water so the extraction is more efficient higher temperatures typically material becomes much more soluble in liquid especially in water and what happens here is that all those rich oils all those sugars all those salts all those minerals are going to go from the solid phase to the aqueous phase due to the temperature also is going to favor the extraction and eventually what you want to do is to filter all the leftover material, which are the solid particles, and separate your aqueous solution, which contains the tea. In leaching, there are three main substances to pay attention. The carrier, which is the solid containing the material of interest. The solute, which is the material that we want to remove. For instance, if we're talking about coffee, that will be, let's say, caffeine will be one of them. And the solvent. The solvent 
The previous example will be water. As you can see, this is a partition system between two binary systems, meaning that the solute is competing versus either staying in the carrier phase or the solid or going to the solvent. The main property exploited here is solubility. So far, we have been hearing about volatility differences. We have been hearing about charges, our particle size. In this specific case, we're talking about solubility. To promote rapid solute diffusion out of the solid and into the liquid solvent, particle size of the solid is usually reduced. What do I mean with reduction is you are either pulverizing, making this into a powder, for instance, coffee. If you're going to do an espresso, which is the uh, coffee which contains the most amount of the extract material of the coffee, you are going to use high pressure, high temperature and very finely coffee beans. Some other types of properties that you might exploit is particle size. For instance, guys, we were talking about the uh, bean size material. Solvent, we could use a, another solvent. I don't know, maybe even alcohol. Imagine a coffee which is brewed in alcohol. That would be crazy. Temperature can affect also leaching. Uh, typically, as temperature increases, leaching is more efficient and faster. But a good example is, again, coffee. If you have a very high temperature, you're going to burn all those oils which uh, will turn then bitter. Agitation will be another example in how you can increase the rate of uh, leaching. Surface area, of course, depending on the material, what you're doing, the interaction of the liquid and solid, the homogeneous character of the carrier and the solid, microorganism activity, if you add certain type of bio material, this is much more into biotech, mineralogy, intermediate products, and crystal structure. Those are certain type of, uh, of characteristics that can be modified in order to increase the leaching. And that's what I wanted to show you overall. In the following lecture, we're going to see some type of operation.